What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today it's historic day and we are testing out uh, this Paladin's Presence deck that I, uh, I actually faced in the last historic video um, and then actually ended up playing it a little bit off the off camera and really really enjoying it uh, despite one really major thing that we're going to talk about probably towards the end of the videos but um, I thought I'd play this deck for you guys. It's a really interesting little combo. Uh, so the idea is if you get an Anointer Priest or a Soul Warden out, uh, as long it, with a Famished Paladin equipped with a Presence of Gund, Gond, uh, you can tap the Paladin, create a token. That token gives you a life, which then untaps the Famished Paladin, and then you can repeat that process literally as long as you would like. Um, there is a limitation on Arena. I should let that be known that the timer uh, can actually trigger after a while, uh, and so you eventually do kind of lose out on it, but uh, that that I found through rigorous testing. Uh, and so the idea here is to, the whole deck is built around just getting out this combo. Uh, so to help us do that, we actually have incubation here. So look at the top five cards of your deck, reveal a creature card from among them, put it into your hand and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. That's really to help you get any of these little pieces. Uh, I'm actually, I, I put two Hollowed Fountain in, in place of two planes, uh, so that way Incongruity is actually a playable portion of this card, uh, which is just instant speed, three mana, exile target creature, that creature's controller gets a 3-3 three, three frog, uh, lizard creature token. Uh, I found that to be actually very, very useful. Uh, particularly, I, I was against a like Mardu style deck where there was a lot of removal, a lot of very powerful creatures as well, like Hazarets and stuff. Uh, and so being able to actually at least play the incongruity was actually helpful uh, there. Uh, but everything else is essentially combo help. So Lanawar Elves is to ramp us. Selfless Savior uh, protects the combo uh, very, very well. Bonds of Flourishing, a uh, great way. It's essentially just a small incubation. Uh, but it does gain you a little life, which is nice. Uh, Soul Warden and Anointer Priest, like I said, gain you the life, but the Embalm on Anointer Priest just gives you a little bit of built-in protection versus sweepers or targeted removal. Uh, we've already talked about Famished Paladin. Paladin. Uh, Heliod's Pilgrim actually pulls out the presence, um, and that's it. Uh, it doesn't really do anything else. Um, and that's it. The, the land count for this is 24. Four Temple Garden, four uh, Sun Petal Grove, two Hollowed Fountain, uh, with an eight and six split on the Forest and Plains, and that's the deck. Uh, it's a really, really interesting deck. Uh, it's very all-in, looking to to essentially just goldfish, um, and then ideally just win off of them giving up. <laughs> Once you demonstrate the combo, a lot of times people give up. The problem you run into is sometimes they don't, uh, and so there may be occasions uh, throughout this where we have to time lapse a little, uh, just because it, it might take a while. Uh, there is a very real chance that that happens. So, um, yeah, we keep this. It's not amazing, but we'll keep it against another life gain deck. Uh, was kind of hoping for like a Lanoir elf or even a paladin there. Um, a paladin would be great. A land would be great. Cause then we can get the pilgrim. Um, going, but we'll see. Opponent thinking. Uh, also wanted to talk about a new land cycle, uh, very themed after Amonkhet. Um, and so we, uh, um, let's just do this. We'll get a priest down. Um, so, uh, we... Obviously, we've made in the past the Spacelands, uh, which were really, really fun, just composite photography, uh, kind of pre-built stuff. Not pre-built, but like we took images, composited everything together, and that's how we got what we got. Um, we are using that same method, but in a bit of a different style uh, to create some desert lands uh, themed after... Not, not heavily themed after, but they are definitely kind of inspired by uh, the... Let's, let's just get some of these little... We need as many of these as we can get, I think, in this matchup. Um, very heavily themed after, like, Amonkhet. Uh, and so with the remastered set out on uh, Arena, we thought that that would be a great time. Um, so we did it. And we're one card away. We need to do Swamp still. Uh, I If you're following us in our Discord, uh, we kind of released a few of them out uh, yesterday, I think. 
Uh, we kind of showed a few of them off. Uh, really, really like them. They're awesome. Um, and you guys seem to have a very similar response, so that's great. Uh, but it's definitely, it's a lot of work to make those things. Um, so, uh, yep. So now we really just need the paladin and then like a turn. If we can get a turn uh, to let things set, then we'd be in great shape. Um, and worth noting, we gain uh, infinite life along with infinite tokens. Um, and so there's a lot to be said for that. Uh, it's very, very good. They are not drawing land. I can't help but notice. Uh, we are going to have to start blocking here, though, no doubt. Uh, very okay with blocking, but we just have to keep that in mind. Sure. Uh, oops. Going to block one here, and I'm actually going to block this here. Okay. Worth noting as well, at some point we can just use the presence on any of our creatures uh, and it's not necessarily a bad thing to do that every once in a while uh, but for now we're gonna get this out there gain ourselves some life uh, yeah I think we're done <clears throat> sure great that we gain life off of their stuff also <laughs> Uh, Soul Warden is just super, super good. Very, very strong card. <clears throat> so I think here we'll just block this one. Take a pretty big hit there, but, um, you know, we can, we can survive it at the very least. Okay, well, we got a Soul Warden, uh, so let's do that. Hmm. I think because we have the other Pilgrim, it's kind of okay to do this. Uh, this gives us blockers, um, but it also gives us uh, just a lot of, you know, life gain. Uh, we are going to be probably taking a pretty big hit here, though. Worth noting. Also, my lovely fiance gave me a haircut, finally. She is so sweet, and she was kind enough to do that yesterday, and I feel so much better. I felt like for the last few, like, videos, it's just been rag up here. Uh, so it feels really weird now that it's not. Uh, but I'm happy about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, block here. I think we'll block here as well. <coughs> Alright. I mean, we really just need the combo. Uh, unfortunately, we're not getting there, but we'll do the best we can. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, well, there's that. Let's do this. Great blocker. Take action. Let's pull this out. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> so much life gain between the two of us. This is ridiculous. Uh, all right. Well, we have it. Uh, it's just a matter of if we can get it out uh, and working in time because worth noting that we do have to take a turn uh, to actually get it going. So uh, I think we'll be able to do it, but it's going to be a little tricky. Um. <clears throat> okay. So, we do this, we do this. I think we're just going to take the 13. It's a big hit. Uh, but this gives us the most creatures next turn to block with and the most amount of life gain still. Um, so I think that that's the best way to do it. That's great. Let's do this. 
and they just gave up immediately. <laughs> uh, all right, sweet. <laughs> Well, that was exactly what we want, uh, is for them to not just sit there and let it, you know, do its thing. But uh, it did work. That's great. Hey, got some got some gems, too. All right, well, let's jump into the next one. That's exactly what it, I, we didn't even get to do it. But essentially, you see the idea. We, we untap, get infinite one ones, and then infinite uh, life. It's great. Um, and what's great, too, is that you can activate it at any time. So you don't necessarily have to just, like... I mean, you do, you, you should, you just go for it really quickly on turn one, but uh, you can keep going like whenever at any step of the way. So like if they do a sweeper, for instance, or if they, if they do a sweep, if they play a sweeper, um, you literally can just be like, oh, cool. Well, I'm just going to gain infinite life. And then, you know, you do your thing. Like, yeah, you got me, but now you got to deal with infinite life. Um, but... This is a long combo, so little tricky sometimes. Uh, perfect, let's just go ahead and do this. And obviously we pull out presence of Gund, Gond, whatever. Um, worth noting with, with something like a Temple of Deceit, part of me thinks it's probably gonna be like a control list. Looks like Esper control potentially. Um, that's a bit of a rough matchup for sure. Uh, a very rough matchup, in fact. So, um, we'll do the best we can. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, actually, I think we take this uh, over the Soul Warden. Uh, because, again, I'm expecting a sweeper here at some point. Uh, and so, this just gives us kind of an insurance policy with the Embalm that we're able to bring it back. Uh, which is great. Very useful. Uh, sure. That's fine. Go ahead and swing in here for one. Got that 20 turn clock. Okay. Uh, so counterspell, I'm guessing, of some kind. Um, see what they do first. We'll see if they actually let us look. Oh, they do, but we miss. Wow, we whiff on it. Um,. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, worth noting, all these Heliod's Pilgrims are really, really good against a deck like this, just because now we've got, like I said, an insurance policy. Um, first things first, we attack. Let's go ahead and play the Pilgrim. I'm guessing a counter spell, though. Yeah. And that's fine. I would rather them counter that than, like, a Bond of Flourishing, where we're actually looking for something. So... That's totally cool. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, let's attack the, uh, the Sahili here. I don't particularly care about that. Um, they can block here, and that's totally fine. Okay. Um, let's take the opportunity, then, for the bonds. Get that. And we'll play Soul Warden. So maybe it's worth noting they might not have a sweeper uh, because they are looking... Oh, okay. I was wrong. Um, that's fine, though. Like I said, we have an insurance policy, so I'm totally cool with that. Hmm. Woo. Uh, let's play the Pilgrim. We'll get another bon or, uh, presence here. Um... I think we're gonna save the uh, savior. Save the savior. We're not gonna play it yet. Okay. Land is good. Uh, we attack here. Sure. Do this. Uh, and really, at this point, we're kind of just deck thinning <laughs> more than anything. Um, just because, you know, we really want to get to the combo as quickly as we can, and we're a bit slow at the moment, so we're working on it. Um, looks like they could just keep drawing some lands, though, which is potentially good. I mean, they obviously have two unknowns, but hopefully that means we're in good shape. Uh, first things first, we attack. I will not give up. Hmm. I'm actually just going to wait... 
I don't really want to just play these out. Uh, I'd much rather... Okay. That's fine. I mean, it is what it is. Cool. Alright. Well, let's bond. Let's pull that. Uh, we'll go ahead and play it. Should have waited, actually, I guess, just so they didn't have the opportunity to counter it, but they didn't, it looks like they didn't have it anyway. Alright, uh, let's play a savior out as well. This just gives us, like, a we get to at least save one thing kind of mentality. Um, we'll save this. Again, insurance policy. This just makes it more difficult for them to do anything. All right. I mean, we're slow. <laughs> we're getting there very, very slowly. Um, I mean, thankfully the opponent's not doing a ton. And yeah, we're only hitting Sahili, but once we have the combo, it's like fine. Sure. We'll bond. Can we get something? Okay, there it is. Uh, let's get that out. And let's get the savior out. All right, that's great. So we can protect the, the Paladin and then next turn we can presence it. Sure, that's fine. Do they have something in hand that's like super good? I guess not, okay. Uh, that's great too, cause that means we can double up on these if we'd like, uh, just if they have a counter, which they do. That's fine. Worked out. All right. Well, here we go. Oh, no. I forgot. I'm dumb. We don't have the Noiner Priest out yet. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Um, doesn't look like... Well, they might be able to, actually. Uh, no, we can actually still save it, so that's fine. Uh, if they pull out, like, a sweeper or something, it doesn't matter. The Selfless Savior gives us that protection. Okay, sure. All right, now. Now we have an infinite combo. This is what we were trying to do. <laughs> And we may or may not, depending on how long this ends up going, we may or may not have to, uh, to time lapse. So, if we do, we'll, uh, we'll probably start that about now. Alright, cool. We didn't have to. Woo! Awesome. Well, that's two wins. Uh, that one was a much longer win, but we got there. Uh, that was a bit of a slow game, but we finally got there. So let's give it one more shot. Let's see how we do. And then, of course, we'll jump into a, uh, a second, excuse me, a second video as well. Um, like I said, the combo is really fun. There's an inherent problem with it uh, that we'll talk about later. Um, and it's, I, I think that that makes it not... Uh, as good um, or I'll say as fun I say it's a fun combo it is fun but it also gets kind of tedious um, and that's really the heart of it that's kind of the heart of the issue this is a great keep uh, this just gives us you know turn one Lanoir elf turn two we've got soul warden um, don't have double white that's one issue that I find with the deck is when you go with the Lanoir elf play on turn one it's great because you ramp but uh, you generally don't have, like, maybe as much to do. Granted, we also have the bonds, so we'll be able to to do something there to utilize all that mana. But just something to think about uh, as we go through. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, let's Soul Warden. And let's go ahead and bond. Uh... I guess we'll take the Pilgrim. I don't know, maybe that wasn't the right play, but oh well. Gain a life, I like that. Just gonna let uh, the hit happen here. Um, I 
I think we just do this. Uh, so this gives us the presence. So now we have all the pieces. Uh, it's just a matter of if we can keep everything kind of alive. <laughs> uh, and honestly, another white source would be really helpful here. Um, players can't gain life. Okay. Well, that's a problem card uh, because it definitely shuts down our combo, but we might be able to kind of bait something in here uh, because we do have incongruity. So let's do this. That's fine. Don't care. Uh, and then let's do this. Yes. All right. So now we just hold off. We can incongruity them. Uh, get rid of the Ferocidon and then potentially make it happen, but it's going to be a little tricky. They can probably just deal with this combo. Ooh, okay, so they could have killed the Famished Paladin and they didn't. That may cost them. <laughs> we'll see. If they've got another Ferocidon, it doesn't. Wow, okay. They're just going for it. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we will block one of these here. Uh, smart that they didn't attack with the Ferocidon. Um, but we do still have a way to deal with it, so... Let's get rid of it. Uh, it's the best thing we can do. Alright, so, next turn, what can we do? So we can still give this indestructible. No attacks, in the turn. So next turn, we just need to be able to play this and have a life gaining creature on the field. Um, those are the two stipulations. So give this indestructible. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, that was dumb. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that was stupid. Okay, so... One, two, one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven. No, we don't block. If we draw a land, there it is. We got it, guys. There it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was really close. I thought I really messed up with the selfless savior, which we did, worth noting. Um, but we, uh, we got there. That's great. Uh, that was my, obviously burn still kills it if it's indestructible, so that doesn't matter. Alright. And we got there. Three straight wins with, uh, Paladin's presence here. I really do think this deck is cool. It's very, very strong. Um, thankfully there are a lot of cards in Historic that kind of shut it down, though, because I do think that, you know, at some point you have to worry, is this combo too good? Um, so I get it. Uh, but I really, really like this one. We'll, of course, jump into a second video, so we'll do three more games with it. And then we'll kind of talk about our thoughts on the on the end of that video. So uh, thank you guys so much for, for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the deck. Uh, please make sure, again, to stay tuned. We will have those Desert Lands out, hopefully very, very soon. Uh, assuming I can get the Swamp one done, uh, because that is going to be a little tricky. Uh, but we're working on it, so I'm excited about it. Hopefully you guys are too. And uh, again, thank you guys so much for all the support and uh, for watching this video. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys very soon for part two.